Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if Windows 11 changes resolution on its own. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to deselect the base video option. To do this press the Windows button then simply type msconfig and then select system configuration from the search results. Now in here you can just click on the boot tab and the next thing you have to do under boot options is to deselect the box next to base video. Lastly, just press on apply and ok to save the changes and then choose to restart your computer to apply the changes. You can then check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to clean boot windows. To do this, press the windows button then type again msconfig and select system configuration from the search results. Now, in the system configuration window, make sure to select the box next to selective startup then make sure to deselect the box next to load startup items. On the other hand, make sure that the load system services box is ticked on. Now move on to the services tab, then tick the box next to hide all Microsoft services, then the next thing you have to do is simply click on the disable all button. Now you just have to click on apply and ok to restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to use Device Manager. To do this, right click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options. Now, in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand Display Adapters and then right click on the problematic device and select the Properties option. Now, click on the Driver tab and in here, as you can see, you have plenty of options to fiddle with. You can update your driver to see if the problem still persists so click on it and then select search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best drivers for your PC. But if this step doesn't prove to be useful, you can also roll back the drivers. So if the device fails after updating the driver, just roll back to the previously installed driver to see if the problem still persists. And lastly, you can also uninstall the device. By clicking on this button, you have to tick the box next to attempt to remove the driver for this device and then click on the uninstall button to once again confirm this choice. After uninstalling the driver, restart your computer and you'll see that the drivers will automatically be reinstalled on your PC. You can then check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to restore Windows to an earlier date. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type RSTRUI and select it as a run command from the search results. Now press on the next button in the following window and choose the earliest point in time before the problem occurred and then press on next again and lastly click on the finish button to start the restoration procedure. Afterwards, you can just check if the problem still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that's it! Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.